it's a tough challenge getting everyone around the country hooked up to the internet. More information is out now on SpaceX's Starlink pre-order, where the program will start and how much it's going to cost. Is satellite the solution for rural broadband? Let's dig in. Whether you connect over a cable, a tower, or from space, you don't want to miss the chat happening on this channel. Make sure you hit those subscribe options under this video to keep up with all the news on reviews.org. Now, it's exciting to see a little more chatter happening, more interest in getting folks connected, and bridging some of our digital divide. One tool in our kit, sending signals from low Earth orbit. SpaceX is opening up pre-orders for Starlink in the USA, Canada, and the UK. It's new, it's high tech, so it's not too surprising that it's also going to start a little pricey. The initial deposit is $99, the satellite dish and installation kit is $499, and the monthly fee will be $99. That sounds a little expensive, but the installation kit also includes a Wi-Fi router, so that should help take a little of the sting off this price. As SpaceX rolls out the service, not everyone paying a deposit will have guaranteed access as the beta rolls out. We'll have to watch timelines for different regions to see how the project expands. There are currently around 1,200 Starlink satellites in orbit, which is about one-tenth of the main constellation SpaceX is hoping to launch. The goal for this grid of satellites is to eventually support fiber-like speeds, somewhere in the gigabit range but early testing is going to be a fair bit slower. Still, in many of the target markets for satellite, especially harder to serve rural areas, the initial numbers are promising. The service certainly costs more than a lot of phone, cable, and DSL solutions, but speeds are falling in line with cable options from more populated city markets. Pricing is an important consideration, but we're seeing more political pressure on regulators to redefine the definition of broadband. So any future solutions for connectivity will need to consider the quality of that connection. Rural broadband isn't going to be much of a benefit if speeds aren't competitive, or if rates are heavily metered. And that's where a new player in satellite is surely going to be an exciting company to watch. These services always get better when we have more competition. Are you considering a satellite provider? Will Starlink bring more competition to underserved areas? Drop us some comments down below. It's an exciting project to track, and we're gonna be keeping our eye on this one. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to the channel. For reviews.org, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, and I'll catch you all on the next video.